So I just wanna show you some use cases for code pipeline. Uh, so some variation in terms of how the pipelines can vary. Uh, so let's look at them starting with traditional monolithic application. So this would be if you're deploying a Ruby on Rails app or a Django or a Laravel application. So you normally have a source built and deploy stage. Uh, you know, you'd have your source could be like GitHub uh, that would output a source artifact. Uh, then you'd go to your code build step. And in this step, you are building to test the code to make sure everything is working as expected. And that build artifact is going to output the results saying, yes, all the tests pass, test coverage is good. Uh, and then it's going to proceed to deploy and then it's going to do a deploy. So that's the traditional ar uh, architecture. Uh, then moving on to, uh, let's say you're hosting a marketing website on static S3, you could build a code pipeline for that. So you could, your source could be Bitbucket. Bitbucket's going to output that source artifact um, that's going to go into code build. And then code build is going to use whatever uh, tool you're using. So if you're using something like Gatsby um, to build a, uh, like a um, using the Jamstack to build, and you have to generate out those static pages, you could use code build for that. And then output the static pages into a build artifact, pass it to a Lambda, and that Lambda is going to then um, upload it to the uh, correct S3 bucket and then uh, invalidate the cache on CloudFront. And so that is that pipeline. Then our last one here is a serverless function. So you could use um, code commit that would output a source artifact, which would then go to uh, CloudFormation. CloudFormation is very uh, common for deploying serverless applications, and it would probably be using uh, SAM, the serverless application uh, model for that. Uh, but yeah, those are three pipelines.